For this project, we're using dark and needle wire. Start by making a small loop. Make another one a little bigger. This is the bottom of the basket, and this will be the top of your basket. Cut five or six wires. Make them the same size if you want your basket to be even, or you can make them different sizes if you want your basket to be irregular. These are the ribs of your basket. Start by attaching it to the top loop. And then attach it to the bottom loop. Do this to all of your wires. I made six ribs. Cut a wire bigger than the top loop. We're going to start forming the sides of the basket. Start about two inches down on one of the ribs and connect the wire. Make two rows and shape your basket. Continue adding more wires, making the holes smaller. I like to make my shapes irregular. I made this wire long enough to start filling in the bottom. That should be enough. The whole openings are an inch to an inch and a half wide. Now's the time to do some shaping. You can shape this basket just like you would a sculpture. If you want the wire to show, choose a light color, like this yellow. You can see the wire right through it. Darker colors will hide the wire. I chose this color. I want the wire to show through. I'm going to work on this plastic marbling tray. You want to mix a little water in your white glue. You want it to be a little runny so that it soaks into the tissue. Tear your tissue into smaller pieces. These are about five by six. Apply glue to one side.
Drape it over your basket. I like to start at the bottom. Add more glue as necessary. I used one sheet of tissue on this basket. You can decorate it with another color of tissue. I cut out these flowers. <laughs> 